and sisters, it is time for our generation to wake up and step into destiny. Our generation has been wandering in the desert for far too long. For too long, we have had the leadership and the vision necessary to enter into our true destiny. But our inaction has kept us stranded, or, or our deception of self-sufficiency has kept us stranded. I believe that just like Moses in, in the Bible, there has been a few people in our father's generation that have labored and toiled in the place of prayer and fasting. People who have walked with God and, and talked with God. People who have truly confronted the established order of this world and declared that we will have freedom no matter what the cost. And because of that, we as a generation are, are standing at the threshold of a great awakening in the church that will electrify our spirits and ignite a fire that will consume our planet. Ah, but now God has spoken to me and he has said, it's time to enter in. It's time for, for new leaders who will rise up under a Joshua anointing and who will come into a place of leadership and say, we, we have, have been, been waiting for too long. long. Now is the time to come into destiny in God's promise. I don't know what it is, but there is something in our DNA, our, our generational DNA that sets our eyes on eternity in the divine and says, I'm coming for it. I'm coming for all of it and nothing and no one can stop me. There's a new sort of aggression in our generation, a new desperation, something that God has built into us that forces us to run after him and to abandon everything that hinders us. Because we know, it's, it's how we were made, we know that he is all we need, for real. And we value him above all else. God is calling forth leaders like Caleb who will silence the groaning and fearful weeping of the assembly and declare, this land is exceedingly good. Do not fear the giants in the land. Do not fear a billion dollar pornography empire that has been built in our nation. Do not fear the highest suicide rate in the history of mankind claiming one life every 16 minutes. There are giants in the land, but the Lord is with us. And we declare victory in the name of Jesus. I declare freedom from the bondage of pornography for the young men in our church. I believe that there are Joshua generation leaders who have been called by God to lead these people into their destiny who, who are being crippled by this addiction to sexual sin. And to you I say, no more, no more. If the son has made you free, then you are free indeed. I see your purity setting a new standard for our generation. Rise up. I declare freedom from the spirit of suicide over our generation. I speak out that prophets will arise. People who have established a true sort of intimacy with God such that when they speak, his words come out. This is what it means to be a prophet. They are people who have surrendered their own voice to take on his. They are sanctified. And because of that, when they speak, God speaks. And I declare that they will speak to the walking dead in our streets and they will see them come to life again. I declare that they will speak to the walking dead in our streets and they will see them come to life again. Oh, brothers and sisters, we have been in the wilderness for too long. Silence the assembly, call the masses and declare that they may have fortified walls, armor, and weapons, but their walls will crumble before us because the Lord God is with us. The whole world may seem to be standing against the advancement of the kingdom, but greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. We may be crippled with sin or blinded with fear, but he is called Jehovah Rapha, the Lord, our healer, our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble, he is our victorious warrior. And we stand behind our Father God and declare to a generation, Arise! Take heart! It's time to step into destiny.